Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Wednesday the 3rd of October where I choose just one of our signals that our members get uh, for potential fifth wave trades on stocks. So in the members area, our members get the opportunity to download spreadsheets for potential long fifth wave trades and short fifth wave trades on the daily, the weekly and the 60 minute time frame. Take a look at long trades for today. In here, you'll see the 3rd of October. Members simply click on the image, download the spreadsheet, which looks something like this for today. If you look at the bottom of the spreadsheet, you'll see the tabs for weekly, daily, and 60 minute. I've gone for a 60 minute today on the A on ABMD, Abiomed Inc. on the 60 minute for a potential long. So let's have a look at the chart. So this is our indicator suite, our Elliott Wave indicator suite for the Think or Swim trading platform. As you can see here, we've got these ABC corrections and then these lows and then we've got the big move up. So when we're isolating this wave count, you know, we can we can isolate all the way back down at these lows or down here because this is the wave count. This is the trend that we're interested in. This is the big move up hit the wave three and now we've had a wave four pullback and it's that wave four that we're interested in right now. So let's just zoom in here and take a closer look. So first of all, we have three main filters for our stock scanner membership to try and identify some potential trades there. They're not, they're not all 100% trades. We've just got some basic filters. So the first filter is the wave four has pulled back against the main trend. In this case, it has the wave force found initial support here. Did close near the lows yesterday though, so it's not, it may not quite be over yet. So we found support in that green zone. That's an 85% probability. If that support level holds and moves out of, through, from there, it's going to make a new wave five high into our automated target zones in blue up here, around about $470 there. The next is the behavior of the wave four. The top of the sub charts down here is the 535 oscillator. That's pulled back between 90 and 140% of the highest point on wave three. So that's good. The next uh, sub chart down is the stochastic, the false breakout stochastic. Now, the yellow line on the top there denotes a really strong bullish move. It's pulled back against there twice and now wants to return. The likelihood is it wants to return to that main bullish trend. And this is another good sign that that wave four is coming to an end. Now, with those three in mind, we have to think about an entry strategy. I just also want to mention the bottom sub chart here. This is our multiple time frame um, cloud, dot cloud. And this represents where the price is on different time frames all the way down uh, to our key time frame on the weekly here down at the bottom in green. So we are looking for bullish trends. The main trend is green. And what we look for when we're trading intraday are these pullbacks from cyan to red on these smaller time frames. So this time frame here is the current time frame we're on, which is the one hour. Then we've got the two hour. Okay, then we've got the four hour and the daily. So we are uh, above our special W5T EMA cloud for those two. Uh, for the daily and the four hour and obviously above on the weekly. So now we're just looking for this pullback to come back up there through our 6-4 moving average high and you'll see these dots go green and we'll get the green square on top which is a signal uh, for that fifth wave move. So this is part of our day trading add-on suite which is separate to our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite and we use it as part of our day trading um, setups. So let's go for the entry now. Remember, we need to be making sure that this move is over. We closed near the lows yesterday, could continue down today. So we need a conservative entry and we need to be outside of the 6-4 moving average high, the green moving average, part of our earlier wave indicator suite here. So I've gone for an entry of 442.13. The stop loss is below the wave 4. So the stop loss is around about 425.92, something like that. And then we've got the target around about 470. So that gives us a risk of reward of 1 to 1.8 into the middle of that target zone. Our minimum risk to reward is 1 to 1.6, which has been met. So risk to reward is good. 
sensible entry moving way well away from the lows of yesterday uh, and that's that's as simple it is with the the signals come from our stock scanner membership we've used the Elliott wave indicator suite to set this up and then we've just identified and used our add-on suite as well with the MTF dot cloud which is just one part of that just to confirm the main trend and how this pullback is performing so that's it ABMD on the one hour on the 60 minute chart for a potential long fifth wave entry 44213. So have a great trading day. Speak to you all tomorrow.